past internet. It's Captain McBeard. We're back with more of the Outer Worlds. We were talking to this gentleman here. Sold my extra hey again, stuff stranger. to him. What can I get you? So I'm make sure he didn't have something else he needed to say. Tell me more about Charles. Yeah. There's something I missed. Where is he? The Marauder Camp way out to the east. That's what I heard at least. Hmm. And I sure hope you're asking so you can keep a safe distance away. Sure, that's why. But you can tell me about Project Gurgen. Only that Spacer's Choice shut it down in a big hurry. Hmm. From what I heard, some of their folks got left behind even. Don't seem like the project ended well. That's what I hear. All right, well, thank you, Khalil. I believe I pronounced that correctly. Not, I sincerely apologize. But let's, uh... Is this stuff you're going to get on me about? Okay, this is not your stuff. I wonder why I have the 14% discount. I feel like it's a spacer's choice place. That's my guess, anyway. Yeah, we're probably going to be going out that way in a little bit after we go to the Sprat Shack. It's a little old place that's full of Sprats. Sprat Shack, baby. Sanitized Lawn Organization Guardian? Interesting. Eh, I mean, if they want to load me down with ammunition, who am I to... Who am I to get? Who am I to tell them no, right? Do, 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 do. Yes, please, give me parts. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, hello. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, so one lift actually works around here. Okay. Let's see. Welcome, Tran D. <laughs> okay. Check electricity, electricity rationing bill. Dominic Tran owes 9,508 bits. Why not? <laughs> Shipment history. Outgoing shipments, okay. Perseus from T Terra 2. Went from Terra 2 to... Went to Edgewater. Okay. 2,000 cartons containing redacted. Three discharge staff, five restein staff. Okay. Outgoing shipments. The Perseus went from Gorgon to Stellar Bay. 100 cartons containing prototype redacted. Two tens were all worth redacted. 15 reassigned staff. Incoming shipments. Ethics gradient from, let's see, Charybdis loop to Tartarus. 350 cartons containing 100 units each sterile injection ampules. 30 high pressure steel cylinders containing oxygen and 25 volunteers. So this one's for, this one's from Byzantium. Three corp security squads, three fire teams each. 500 rounds light ammo, 2,000 rounds heavy ammo. One flight containing 10 units of moon. 10 units of moon man standee. Interesting. Messages incoming. 
mostly see. Various observations of the Argosy's rate of export. Where the comp set relativity, a rhetorical question, and where it's face resource training. Da, 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 da. Broadly, relativity is an economic idea that describes productivity in terms of a relationship. That's actually not what that means, but, you know, sure, let's go with it. Point of view, the Argosy's freight depot. Da, 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 da. Cable of three times productivity relative to your colleague. If there's a failure, recursion success is measured relative to your fastest, strongest, most productive colleagues. Hmm. One of the following reprimands below and append your current record. Quality of your work is unacceptably low by spatial choice standards. Quality of your work is unacceptably low relative to that of your colleagues. You're receiving an official reprimand. Your permanent record. You have violated spatial choice code of conduct. Also, an official reprimand. <laughs> Wow. Uh, to Raynard. But I don't understand how you managed to log these three times, log three times the number of shipments I do out uh, of that miserable shack you call an office. You cut it out. Mostly he's been poking at the Argos you ship rate numbers again. He started asking why Louie and I can't pack as quickly together as you can alone. Thinking maybe I should tell him you should do that. You're dipping deep into Adrena time. Okay. Interesting. Uh, so, so it's got him all uppity. Okay. Okay, some ammo out here that I'll grab happily, really quick. Before we go into the Sprat Shack. Yeah, I need to go back to Monarch and deal with that. I'm gonna, that's going to be after the DLC. After. Come here. Let's have a chat. Sure, let's have a chat. All right, inspection time. Look at my eyes for as long as you can without blinking. Starting now. So, uh, what's this about? Did I stutter? Just do as I say. Blink rapidly. I could do without the <laughs> sass, but that's good enough. You're cleared. That was a sanity check. If you had changed like the others, it'd be in your eyes. You'd also be drooling, cursing, and making a mess of the place. Hmm. Welcome to the Sprat Shack. You can head on downstairs. We even piece of people had changed. Every day, salvagers and scrappers set out to comb the ruins and make their fortune. Mm -hmm. But once you come back, they aren't always the same men or women who left. They change. Never for the better. Ah, uh, I wonder if this DLC is going to explain what marauders are. First, they get real twitchy and paranoid shouting at folks who aren't there mm. then they smell like they soiled themselves on account of how they soiled themselves after that they're gone nothing but animals wearing human skin seen it happen mm. myself it's never pretty so where exactly am i this is the sprat shack the most remote watering hole in the system rule number one no fighting rule number two wipe your feet on the way downstairs. That's fair. We're the only hospitable place on this rock. I want to keep it that way. That's why we have rule number three. When people change, they stay outside where they belong. All right, let me ask you something else. Just don't ask me to dance. Wasn't planning to. What do you know about Gorgon? Something bad happened here. Spacer's Choice was developing chemicals. The kind with nasty side effects. Mm. Marauders outnumber the rest of us ten to one. Either they came from Gorgon, or something draws them here. I don't know which is worse. This place is under a dark cloud, stranger. That's all I know. If you want the history of the Sprat Shack, talk to Lex behind the bar. All right. Uh, I'm going to interrogate you some That's more first. It. 
Bodyguard, law enforcer. I make sure the Sprat Shack gets only the highest caliber of clientele. That's us. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought this place was going to be fun. <laughs> we get a lot of brand loyal corporate types and a lot of cutthroat freelancer types. Both sides have their share of dirty scoundrels. And I hate dirt. I feel like Sam would have said something at that point. This is a sublight bar, so most of our regulars come to plunder the old labs. Mm. The facility's locked up behind miles of red tape, so progress is slow. A lot of time to drink and reevaluate, then venture out and try again. Oh, okay. Watch yourself out there. So if I raise my sublight rep, I might, you know, I don't know, get better prices. You say something if I try to take that you are. Okay. Smell that? Cheap whiskey and stale cigarettes. My kind of place. Kinda of figured you'd enjoy it. Ugh. This place smells like Felix's birth. <laughs> He's O B E R T H. I was like, how do you know what it smelled like when Felix was born? Welcome to the Sprat Shack. First one's on the house, and I won't even water it down. Will it be? You kind of look like June Lay with different hair. Eh. Spectrum Vodka. I want to see colors in lots of them. <laughs> Bottoms up. I assume you're here for salvage. Actually, came for journal. Can't help you there. This ain't exactly a library. Most of my regulars are sublight scavengers. They pick over the ruins of Gorgon, spend their earnings at the bar, and uh, head back out the next day. Vicious cycle, but that's life. You're the first new face I've seen in a while. Do you know anyone by the name of Lucky Montoya? Lucky? Sure, I knew him. He could get a little dramatic at times, but he was a good guy. Heard he took on a dangerous job. Spent a lot of time coming and going from the office of Creative Incubation, just down the road. Office of Creative Incubation? That's where the top rungers at Spacer's Choice came up with slogans of marketing. Hmm. Lucky never told me why it was so important. <sighs> Awful shame about what happened to him. Uh, well, I know about the severed arm, but the rest is a mystery. You know about that? Huh. Word must travel fast around these parts. Last I saw of Lucky was a few days ago. I went outside for a smoke and a stroll, and I saw this wild canid dragging a bloody limb. So I kicked the canid, scared it off. Hmm. Go on. Get this. The canid was chewing on an honest-to-law human arm. Lucky's arm. How'd you know it was his? I'm a bartender. Attention to detail is my middle name. Anyway, the arm was clutching a phonograph that mentioned someone named Alex Hawthorne. I did some poking around, and this Hawthorne has a reputation among the uh, <clears throat> salvagers who frequent the bar. Mm -hmm. So I packaged up the arm nice and tidy and sent it care of the Halcyon Parcel Service. They haven't gave me a discount on the hazardous waste removal stamp. Yeah, I mean, to me, I'm his next kin, sort of. No kidding. And now you're here? Colony feels smaller than you'd think some days. I'm glad I was here to see this uh, confluence of events, you know? <laughs> the stars really aligned on this one. And here I am, smack dab in the middle. Yep, well done, Lex. Why'd you send the arm? I figured Hawthorne would want to know what happened to his pal. Help Lucky get his affairs in order, you know. Oh, I hate to see people go with unfinished business. Where is he staying? Third floor. Once I figured he wasn't coming back to pay his tab, I left his room unlocked to air it out. You can help yourself to anything you left behind. Fair warning, I've been letting the regulars use it for a quick lie down. Hmm. Wash your hands when you're done. Trust me. Hmm. What do you know about Gorgon? Spacer's Choice used to brew pharmaceuticals in these parts. That's why the asteroid smells like an old gym sock. They say Adrena time came from here. Just down the road at the old R&D lab. Very hush-hush back in the day. 
any of your regulars might have some more info. Roscoe might tell you more. He spent some time around here before the bar opened up. I trust him well enough. There's always Leonora, my favorite customer over in the storage room on the second floor. Keeps to herself and always closes out her tab. Hmm. Can you tell me about uh, Roscoe? He's been here since opening day. I think he told me he was some kind of journalist. He got left behind when Spacer's Choice pulled out. And I guess no one's coming to get him. Hmm. Poor bastard. Are you looking out for him? Roscoe's drinks are on the house. We all know how it feels to get left behind. He'll be all right. He's with the family now. And we take care of our own. Why did he get left? He didn't tell me and I didn't ask. I'm his bartender, not his human resources rep. If you believe the chatter, That's fair. a lot of good folks got left behind and a lot of bad folks made it out. Ain't that how it always is? That's all there is to it. Tell me about this Leo Nora. Nice lady. Been coming around a lot these past few months. She isn't with Sublight, but seems to know the lay of the land better than anyone. She spends most of her days drinking alone. I think she's looking to hire someone. If you're open to a side gig. Do you know if she spoke with Lucky? Now that you mention it, I thought I saw those two sharing stories over a pint. Didn't think twice about it. I don't speak ill of the dead, but Leonora deserves better company. That Lucky was no good for her. Mm. Well, thanks for the tip. What are friends for, eh? Any idea why Spacer's Choice shut Gorgon down? I doubt anyone knows the full story. One day the evacuation order went out. Grunts and lab coats scrambled to get anywhere but Gorgon. And the weirdest thing of all, Adrena time still hit the market. Mm. Me, I never touch the stuff. Each their own, but I think it's dangerous. Hmm. I wonder if Adrena time is what creates marauders. Damn right we are. We've got drugs, scrap metal, prototype weapons, drugs, money, and more drugs. Nice. When Spacer's Choice evacuated, everyone dropped their gear and ran. Most of it stayed where it fell, and all of it is up for grabs. Excellent. And of course, the real treasure is whatever's locked up in the old facility. Until someone figures a way to crack it open, we're just sifting through dirt. One safe cracker at your service. You got it, bub. So you're, I thought you said no further questions. Yes and no. The Sprat Shack used to be a shipping and receiving warehouse during the old Project Gorgon days. When Spacer's Choice pulled their guys off world, Sublight moved in to uh, salvage what we could, and they put me in charge. Yes and no. Rumor has it there's a Sprat wandering <laughs> around the Groundbreaker, <laughs> and he's the legal owner of the Sprat Shack. Agen's <laughs> idea. That's hilarious. Dare I ask why Spratt owns the bar? See, Hagen didn't want a paper trail that led back to her. Oh. So she gave the bar to the Spratt. Makes sense. If there were any legal problems with this place, the Spratt would do the time. You know, they do something similar in Byzantium. Fancier system, but same idea. You think a Spratt could own Edgewater? Probably. Oh, oh. Imagine one wearing Mr. Thompson's little hat. <laughs> anyway, that's what the paperwork <laughs> says. I don't make the rules. How did you know which Sprat's the right one? Easy. His name's Matt. Matt the, the Sprat? The thing is, no one could tell Matt Sprat apart from an ordinary vermin. I think that's kind of the point, to send the authorities on a wild Sprat chase. I'll try not to step on him if I have him by Groundbreaker. I wouldn't lose any sleep over it. The Sprat Shack's gone through a lot of title holders over the years. As far as business arrangements go, this one's a head-scratcher, but... They say it's all above board, so that's what matters. Does Spacer's Choice care? Yes and no. We're doing a lot more than squatting. We're classing up the joint. Keeping the riffraff outside where it belongs. They didn't even serve drinks until I arrived. Talk about wasted potential. Hmm. So you have any... Can you answer any question without starting with yes and no? <laughs> yes. And no. <laughs> she told me that speaking in vague terms keeps you out of trouble. And I don't want any trouble in my place. They get supplies in and out. Thirsty people come and go from all over the colony. Mostly on the way to somewhere better. 
some are well connected and not everyone pays with bits that's how that's we get fair. unconventional goods anyhow sublight keeps us well stocked with the essentials by which i mean booze all right now look around good i've got paying customers all right uh who are we looking for down here Yeah, I think they said Roscoe or something, and then there's someone on the second floor. Are you my agent on the ground? Sorry? I've been sent to meet a certain someone about a certain piece of merchandise. They're supposed to use a secret code phrase. Oh. <laughs> Can't help you. I'm just here to drink. That's a cold. You're a humbug, Trixie, and worse, a thief. Hmm. Can't steal what's lawfully mine, tangle footed gym wear. Bring it up, you two. I've heard Okay, vending machine. Not gonna steal. I'm just trying to find this guy you're talking about, like Did you bring the payment? Did you bring the goods? No payment, no goods. Yeah. Give me a taste of the goods. Uh, there are quite a lot of sprats. Uh, hello. Eh, it's not really worth it, especially if it's gonna piss everyone off. All right. Uh, gotta be careful. You don't wanna. You don't want to loot A, where you're going to get caught. Well, you generally speaking, you don't want to loot where you're going to get caught. Because it's it can pose a lot of difficulties. Just in case. Do you uh, think the folks here like strangers? Because some of them are looking at us like, maybe not. <laughs> Probably not. Jerome would have loved this place. Is that a steal? It is. Okay, so you're one of the people I'm supposed to talk to. You don't look like one of the salvagers, no? Don't really seem like the type. You've got the look of someone who's traveled far to get here and whose journey is far from over. Sounds about right. And seen things. Do anything to fully process them all? You and me both. I don't know if you're bound for the old runes, but in case you are. Can you look into something? I'd do it myself, but of course, the Marauders would eat me alive. Depends on what you need. Um, looking for something out there. Been paying Sublight to help me, but they haven't made much progress. Hmm. Something might be valuable. It is to me, but apparently it's junk to Sublight. Value is subjective. My husband and I worked on Gorgon during the good times. Hmm. Jerome was on maintenance duty. I cleaned out test tubes till they sparkled. So, uh, where's Jerome now? No, we're good. That's for sure. In his final hours, Gorgon was a war zone. Hmm. Violence broke out in the labs. The hills were full of marauders. You couldn't take a leisurely stroll without an armed escort. When the order came through to evacuate, Non-essential personnel drew a lottery to see who would board the first wave of ships. Mm. Jerome won. I lost. Oh, okay. As soon as I wasn't looking, Jerome switched our tickets and pushed me to the front of the line. I got to leave. Jerome stayed behind. I never saw him again. So why did you, uh, that was very noble of him. That Jerome... Always chose the right thing, even when it got him killed. This place is greedy. Took my Jerome, and it would have taken me too. I just want one thing back. His old hip flask. I gave mm. it to him the day we signed our marriage contract. And he carried it wherever he went. I know it's still here. What do you think happened? No point in denying it. He died on this rock. Likely torn apart by marauders, unless... Took care of himself on his own terms. Hmm. I don't like to imagine what happened, but I know I have to accept it. 
All right, I'll keep an eye out. You'd really do that for me? Law, and I'll bet you're worth ten of those sublights, brats. <laughs> I don't have much, but if you help me, there's a little set aside for the occasion. Jerome used to drink with his buddies in a small kitchen opposite the maintenance shed. Might be a good place to check first. All right, let me ask you something. Yeah? Do you know Lucky Montoya? That old flirt? Yeah, I let him buy me a drink or two. He talked my ear off about exciting jobs he'd done. All lies, I'm sure. He fell asleep with his head on my shoulder. Mm. That man had baggage like you wouldn't believe. I didn't think anyone could be lonelier than me. Did he mention anything about the Gorgon Research Facility? He bragged about having the key to some sort of maintenance area in one of the old buildings. I never saw it, so I just assumed he was talking himself up. He also asked if I wanted to see something gross and slimy he kept in his room. But I declined. Politely. Wow, okay. Was he depressed? He put on quite a front, but I think he was weary. Like he'd seen too much and had too little to show for it. Hmm. I guess we were kindred spirits in a way. Say, so, isn't that true of everyone? <laughs> All right, thanks for your time, ma'am. Sure thing. My condolences if you two were close. Well, actually, tell me about Gorgon. The lab coats kept quiet about the project, but the air was charged with excitement. You could feel it wherever you went. They wanted to change the world. Hmm. A tenfold boost to worker productivity with no side effects? Who wouldn't salivate at the thought? Hmm. I don't know what went wrong, but when the shit hit the fan, it sprayed everyone in its path, including me. So they're uh, in case they're trying to make it so that uh, people don't have to sleep or something, I'm guessing. Are you perhaps the other guy I'm supposed to talk to? How about you guys? That last no. drink you ordered had a punch to it. What did you say it was called? Lunar Eclipse Mix. It's just pep pills and a two-hour energy brew. Ooh. My ex used to have them with breakfast. Sounds like you're asking for a heart attack. Okay. Huh, who's this now? Roscoe. I wonder if they could... Nah. Holy shit, a fresh face. Haven't seen your like in years. Don't know what brought you to the most dangerous corner of this solar system, pal. But you're welcome here. Oh, you talked to Lex yet? She tell you to keep it civil? You wouldn't guess to talk to her, but that lady's got a mean left hook. Hmm. Yeah, I talked to her. She mentioned you're some kind of journalist. Some kind. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Got into reporting thinking I was going to be some sort of public intellectual. What a joke. Hmm. Spent 95% of my time playing stenographer to the board. And the rest, writing puff pieces on the chairman's latest beard trim. Uh, Real life and death shit. Yeah, I can see how you would hate that. As soon as I have a rough time, can help you out. If you're going back out there, do you think you'd be willing to do an old bastard a small favor? Helping out old bastards is eighty percent of my job. What you need? Does this involve <laughs> going somewhere we don't belong? Those are my favorite jobs. Well, I've been trying to get away from this rock for five lobby fucked years, <laughs> but I can't stay gone. <laughs> Why is that? Told you I was a journalist, right? I was here on a story back when Project Gorgon was active. Mm -hmm. I was doing an interview series for Spacer's Choice. Recorded them all on these little portable phonographs. But when everything fell to shit, Spacer's Choice wouldn't let me leave. Terms of my reporting contract unmet, they said. Mm -hmm. So you had them and I need me to get them for you. That about cover it? Right on the money. Look at me. I'm no fighter. I've never even touched a gun. But you... You're just the right amount of rough around the edges. Help me get my recordings back so I can finally get the hell out of here. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll try to find him. No shit? That's downright civilized of you. I mean, I'm gonna be out there anyway. Right. One of them I stash in the Office of Creative Incubation. In the projector room on the third floor. I give another to my friend Birdie to keep in her apartment. Just outside OCI's upper entrance. All right, next. You'll find another in the chem lab. It's in the main lab storage room. Hopefully this is all actually going to be in my journal. You ran all over Gorgon to hire recordings. <laughs> Didn't have much of a choice. The primals had gotten loose. A couple of them were chasing me. The recordings just ended up wherever I hid. Ah, uh, primals. This is getting better. The final one is in human inquiry and auditing. Hmm. 
It's tucked behind a pipe in observation room B. The observation room wouldn't send you seen you? What with the test subjects running loose, the researchers were surprisingly unobservant. Got it, I'll be back. Strength to your sword arm, friend. And thank you. Okay, thank God it is going to be in there. Alright, so this has been The Outer Worlds. Captain Main Beard. I appreciate each and every one of you who watches. So stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, wear your mask. Thanks so much, and peace out.